It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. It's Friday and that means it's time for another one of our Agile Not-So-Agile episodes of the Daily Stand-Up Podcast. It has been an amazing run. We're, we're, we're up close to 850 episodes now. I think this is actually 845, so we're, we're getting excited here. And I want to share with you a parable. Now, many of you may have heard this story before, but it's going to have a little bit of a twist at the end. So hang in there so that we can make sure we're all on the same page. So here we go. Once upon a time, in a small village nestled amongst the rolling hills, there lived a water bear. Every day he would walk to a nearby stream. He would carry two large pots tied to a pole that rested upon his shoulders. One pot was absolutely perfect without any flaws at all, while the other pot had a deep crack that ran along one of its sides. As the water bearer made his way from the stream to his master's house, the perfect pot would hold its water securely, delivering a full portion every time. It felt proud of its accomplishments and was, and was, you know, delivering, delivering the, the best value it could. It felt proud, fulfilling its purpose with perfection. But the crackpot often felt ashamed and burdened by its flaw. No matter how much water the water bearer poured into it, it leaked along the way, leaving a trail of water droplets behind. One day, as they reached a master's house, the crackpot felt like it could no longer bear its imperfection. And it whispered softly to the water bearer, I'm sorry for my flaw. I'm ashamed that I can't do my job properly. I'm wasting your efforts and leaving a mess behind. The water bear smiled warmly and said, My dear crackpot, please do not be troubled. Look around you. The pot raised its gaze and noticed a path adorned with beautiful, vibrant flowers blooming in every colorful array. The pot was puzzled and asked, But how is that possible? I've been leaking water all along the way. The water bear gently grinned and explained, You see, I've known about your crack for a long time. Instead of letting it discourage me, I planted flower seeds along your side of the path. Every day as we walked back, you watered them with the droplets that leaked from you. Without your cracks, these flowers would not have blossomed so beautifully. The crackpot was filled with awe and wonder. It realized that its flaw had unknowingly brought beauty into the world. It no longer felt ashamed, but embraced its uniqueness. From that moment on, it took pride in its imperfection understanding that I had a purpose that could bring joy to others. As time went on, the crack pot and the water bearer concluded their daily journey. The pot no longer saw itself as broken, but as a vessel that, a vessel that nurtured life. It no longer compared itself to a perfect pot, for it had found its own purpose and its own way of making a difference in the world. The village people marveled at the stunning flowers that lined the path, unaware of the pot's role in the creation. Uh, the crackpot learned that it was not defined by its flaw, but it was defined by its beauty that it unknowingly cultivated, right? So this story, this parable to crackpot, it teaches us a few lessons. The first lesson, it reminds us that even our perceived flaws and weaknesses can have unexpected beauty and bring joy to others. So don't be a Debbie Downer. Don't always be down on yourself, right? Even if you feel like you have a flaw, it could bring joy to others. Our imperfections, like this pot's crack, could make us unique and provide opportunities for growth and positive impact in certain systems and certain cultures. We need to be aware of those things. And uh, also, we need to embrace our true selves, uh, for within our flaws are the seeds of beauty that are waiting to bloom. So I think that if we look at life and say the half full versus half empty version, right? And we look at ourselves and say, what value are we adding? You know, the truth is we're all a cracked vessel. I haven't met a perfect vessel yet. We all have flaws. We all have imperfections. We're all leaking water. But the question is, what are we doing with the water we leak? How are we, are we using the water we leak to benefit mankind? Or are we just making a mess of it? And I think that sometimes when it comes to diversity, equity, inclusiveness, making sure everyone has a seat at the table, making sure we respect diverse opinions, 
making sure that we're inclusive of everyone who wants to have a part in what we're trying to do. Um, I feel like those efforts are going to help us really understand the importance of being a crackpot, but understanding if we are a crackpot, that it doesn't mean that we are worthless. It, It could actually mean that we're doing a much bigger, broader mission that maybe we didn't take the time to step back and recognize. So I encourage each one of you, my challenge for each one of you is to take a step back, look at where you are, and don't let the crack in your pot drive you down. Don't let it drive you crazy. Figure out ways that you can leverage that crackpot scenario and uh, find ways to to understand that some of the most beautiful items in the world, in fact, uh, I want to say it's in Japan, when they have something that's cracked, a lot of times they'll use uh, bright gold to make the repair and the, the repaired vessel with the embedded gold is often worth a lot more than the original vessel ever was. And I think that, you know, we need to look at those imperfections to make them perfect. We need to find and seek truth and seek ways to make things right. And if we do those things, we're going to make the world a better place. That's going to do it. I hope that this resonates with you. If, if, if you have something you want us to talk about, make sure you reach out to us and let us know. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope you take that challenge. And as always, I encourage you to stay healthy and stay well. Until next Monday, my friends, do take care.